Jesus Sanctuary presents Words of Faith by Pastor Uza Ndeku. Remain blessed as you tune in to God's Word. I know and I guess it is well with you because Jesus is the Lord of your life. I thank God for each and every one of you. All my viewers and uh, above all, we thank God for your children, your beloved ones. There's somebody looking at me. God has remembered you and to him be all the glory. To him be all the honor and to him be all the adoration in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just have to say this and say to her that tomorrow, of course, is the D day, Friday, the first Friday of the month, and we're praying about the guests of hell. Of course, and indeed, we have been giving us some prayer points, which I'm going to continue today, giving us some prayer points on the guests of hell. But if I were you, those of you that try to call him, we will send out. These prayer points as you write, so that you can use them from time to time. Uh, because the gate of hell will not prevail. We are in a new month, the month of March. And thank God for all the testimonies, all everything people have been testifying on here. Eh? To God be the glory. No man can do this. And no, no power, no human being except God. And we give him all the glory. Above all, I thank God for each and every one of you that tried to call it. Uh, because you made this program fantastic, and uh, it has been fantastic, and uh, it is well. We want to appreciate you, and we want to say that that we. I expect to see some of you tomorrow. Be part of it is going to be awesome, and we are going to anoint for breakthrough. I mean, to anoint to destroy the gates of hell, and so the fasting will end tomorrow, as I speak. The second section or segment of the fasting has begun. It will end by 9 o'clock. Tomorrow, we only have the morning section, I mean from 10 to 1, and from 12, at, I mean from 9 p.m. to 12, not 7. 9 p.m. That is for Friday, and that ends the fasting. It brings you to, it brings to the matter to a, con, to a good conclusion, so that some of us can eat our and our rice, as it were. And to God be the glory for the strength and the honor. For the month of March is going to be fantastic for somebody looking at me right there. And God bless you. And uh, as we go on to wait on the choir to take, to be on, and um, that is good, 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 good. It's good to remind us that, um, that each and every one of you that have been so into this program, God will bless you. He will prosper you. He will keep you. He will open more doors for you. The same God has remembered you. To him be the glory. Adonai, we worship you. We worship you. Son of God.
but that is powerful and that it is well. Songi o chineke, songi buo nyinyakam, songi o chineke, songi no buo nyinyakam, songi o isi na nyandu chedamo, o nyana zabere songi mani kibu o nyinyakam. I don't know who is looking at you. You have come to a crossroad. Only God will help you. And the same God will fight your battle. Two days from today, there is somebody there. That which you have been waiting for, the answer has come. I don't know who you are. I cancel your name from the book of death. You, you will live and not die. No man made you. Therefore, no man should determine when you will die. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, may God prosper you. There's somebody there. Any mirror, altars of mirror, they are invoking your name. The blood of Jesus Christ. Make sure you are there. Tomorrow we are going to have that prayer point. And we are going to anoint people for the month of March. Even though it's good to, be, to anoint yourself every day. Uh, because it's quite good. But of course, I need it. yesterday I began a teaching and I began a topic. And like I, I, I'm, a, I, I'm a bit excited because this person is ending tomorrow. This junior person, but he's going to do a lot. He's going to work so much in the life of people. What I intend to do, what I want to do today, is to give us some prayer points, as it were. But it's good to do some explanation for each prayer point I want to give up. There's something I want to share, and some of you do know that. That at times people take your names to shrine to, and they make a formal report to you. I said gates are the dwelling places of the spirit. So gates are like the authoritative base, I mean, like the, the base or the base, the, the platform for the powers, I mean, for the spirit. At times they take people's names. To shrines, and it will be good to walk for those who don't know their God, of course. And many people don't know their God. I'm not talking of going to church and sitting down. You go to church every Sunday and you say you know your God. Now, I'm not talking of some of you, all you do is to go every Sunday you sit up well with suit, and that's it. You don't know Bible. You don't read scriptures. You are just empty. You are just there. Every year you don't move. You don't know even Genesis. You don't know Exodus. You don't even read stuff. You don't study the Bible. I'm not talking about those who know their God. Of course. I'm talking for those who don't know their God. And many people, my friend, do not know their God. And even some do know their God. But they cannot tap into the resurrection power. Therefore, Paul says something in Philippians 3 from verse 10. He said that I may know him and the power of the resurrection. So the instant that is coming and people are excited, of course, which is good. But what should, what should excite you is that to tap into the power of resurrection. The power that made everything dead to become alive. It is, the, it is the power of resurrection. So some people, they take their names to shrine. And you see your business be, begin to fall from nowhere. Some that your, you, your head is in tattered. And you say, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Whether you believe in something doesn't mean it will not work. You don't need to believe that America is powerful to feel the power of America. When, the, when you feel the power, you know they are powerful. You may not believe. Amos 5, 15. The book of Amos. So we're going to pray for those so, Lord, my God, my little man, because I'm just 
try to do some little teaching and I give some prayer points. That, oh Lord my God, any man or woman that, any woman or woman that use demonic or satanic gates of judgment, a shrine is a gate of judgment, an instrument of judgment. Any person that will take your name or your picture or to use satanic gates of judgment in order to destroy you. You say, let the angels of God uproot them, fight them in Jesus' name. That is the key, in Jesus' name. If your hands are clean, you don't go and steal and begin to say, well, you cannot pray. You, can, you don't go and convert somebody's wife and begin to say, uh, 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 any altar. No, it will not work. Why? He that seeks equity in the realm of the spirit must come with a clean hand, even in the realm of man. If you want, if you want justice, your hands must be clean. And you cannot be connected to the powers of, of darkness. Many people who are even Bible carriers, who are Christians, who preach, who appear on earth, may be connected to the powers of darkness. And you pray this prayer, it will not work. But I'm not telling you for those who hands are clean. And many people, their hands are clean, including you looking at me. So Amos 5, yes, please, read it for me. Amos 5, 15. Yes. Hate the evil. Uh-huh. And love the good uh -huh. and establish judgment in the gates. So anyone that will take your name would have will use the gate, satanic gate of judgment to fight you. Let the angels of God fight your battle. You need to pray that prayer. That's what times you see yourself in shrine, you don't know. I, there was a time I saw myself in miles and miles and miles of, of, of uh, chambers of darkness. I'm telling you, in, in not one mile, miles down. But everywhere was calm, but I was like this, vibrating, looking. Everywhere was calm. I woke up and said, what is it? God said, they invoke your name. But Satan has resigned over you. You can be in his domain and come back. And you can be there. Nobody has two heads. All they have a, I have a God who never fails. I serve a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Jesus never fails. He will never fail forevermore. And those who fight you, fight you with God. That's what Elijah said. Call the name of your God. I will call the name of my God. The, the one that is real, let him be real. Psalm 9 verse 13. Psalm 9 verse 13. You got, there are those that, the resurrection power, we are going to be here, Psalm 9. Psalm 9 verse 13. Yes, sir. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Uh -huh. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me. Okay. Thou that lifted me up uh -huh. from the gates of death. He said, you see, you see, you see, oh Lord, my God, see, please repeat it again. I like it. Psalm 9 verse 13. Yes. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Uh -huh. Consider my trouble which I suffer uh -huh. of them that hate me. Uh -huh. Thou that lifts me up uh -huh. from the gates of death. There is a God that lifted you up. He has lifted you forever. So he said, oh Lord my God, because we are praying about gates. Because Jesus like I said in Matthew 16, 18, in case you have just joined us, I'm giving prayer for that we are doing fasting and prayer. And some people have joined, and some people outside London, I mean within, I mean, uh, so many people have joined us. And because people do join in thousands, of course, from the email. Now, so these are the prayer points you can use for today and tomorrow, because tomorrow all night, Tomorrow in the morning, you have the all night from 9 o'clock tomorrow up to 12 noon. We keep to time, of course, because people can get back on time. We are praying on gates. So, Father, you say, this is the gate of death. You say, oh, Lord, my God, my human and my Savior, 
I decree and I declare that the resurrection power of God has lifted me up. I and my family forever from certain gate of untimely death, of sickness and death, because they go hand in hand. One is one is an introduce one is one is what I call the first sign, sickness and death. Oh, of course, some people die suddenly. It's not important. But all those that want to destroy you without any cause, if they sleep, they go and see God. Of course, I pray it. All those that will come after me, come after you. Without any reason. All those that hate you for who you are. All those that want to destroy you, God will not permit them. In Jesus' name. So we, we are in the mood of prayer. So I'm not doing, I've got time to explain why this prayer is needful. He said, Father, I thank you. You have lifted I and my family up. When you are sick, when you are down, when you have suicidal thoughts, you pray this prayer that, Father, you lift me up. Thank you for lifting us up from the gate of death because death has a gate. Life has a gate. Promotion has a gate. Prison has a gate. You can't be entering the gate of prison and you, and you say you are going to see um, President Obama. You know the difference if you are in White House and if you are in prison. One, your dress will change. Two, you, you, <laughs> you know the difference. You, when you are entering a gate of promotion, a gate of joy, you know. When you are entering a gate of shame and scandal, you know. When somebody is going for checkup for cancer, he, he can't sleep. He's taught, oh, oh, pray this prayer and reject the cancer. It is not for you. You didn't come with it. You should find cancer, you reject it. I don't know who I'm speaking to. Instead of you to live in fear and dwell in fear and die in fear, why not pray the prayer? Because your prayer can sort you out. So you father, you so when your children are sick, you pray so a prayer. Uh, then there's Psalm 24, verse 7. Psalm 24, which is a very popular psalm. He said, All you guests be lifted up. Jesus Christ went to went to went to destroy the power of gates. Yes, I want to. Psalm 24, verse 7. Yes. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, uh -huh. and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, uh -huh. and the king of glory shall come in. Then there was a question. Who is this king of glory? Said, who is this king of glory? The yes. Lord, strong and mighty. Uh -huh. The Lord, mighty in battle. The gates can speak. When Jesus Christ came, so we are using the prayer. We are giving command. So, Lord, my God, my Redeemer and my Savior, I command the gates the heads of gate of, of hell. I mean, every gate in the spiritual realm. That is, every gate in the heavenlies. Every gate on the earth. Every gate in the water. There are gates in the water. There are gates on the land, according to the scripture. And there are gates in the heavenlies. So you say, you give a command. Why? If you tell every heaven, all, get, all you gates in the heavenlies, all you gates on the, on the earth, you, you gates in the water, lift up your heads. You will favor me. You will fight for my battle. Because gates can work for you. Who are gates? Gates are domain of the spirit. Some people will never experience blessing in their life. Some people will never have joy in their home. Since they have married, they, they don't have peace. Something is fighting it. Some people have never known joy since they married. Before they married, they were happy. And they wish and prayed and asked for God and God and they married. They are not happy. It can't be. Some people have not enjoyed this life 
A lady met me. 63 drop tablets every day. There was a lady God touched in Nigeria. When she, the day she gave her testimony, she brought the box of drugs. It was like it was like drama. She brought the box of drugs. He said she, she lost the husband. One affliction, in fact, he said that people thought she is she has chemistry. People thought she read pharmaceutical in the university. She studied pharmacy. Because the way she was buying drugs. Are you in that field? Only one day God delivered her. In fact, his son is a pastor now in Jesus Sanctuary. I'm telling you. I mean, um, I saw. She saw. But it's through prayer. I don't know who's looking at me. The gate of sickness. The gate of poverty or shame. Some people, anything you do bring shame. Even when you do people good, they will see it otherwise. There are people that have never enjoyed blessing. A woman came to me in London. He said, Pastor, Doc, I'm about 70 plus, or rather, 68, but I'm okay, by now, 70 plus, two years ago. He said, Pastor, Doc, anywhere I go, people think I'm a thief. I said, how? He said, even in your church, when I sat down, a woman was watching her back. <laughs> And I told her there is a demon that is trying to show you that. The, that is the gate of shame and disgrace. So my Lord and my God, all my viewers, each and every one of you, that in the name of Jesus Christ, we command every gate, the gates in the heavenlies, in the sun, in the moon, in the cloud, in the black hole, the gates in the bodies of heaven, the gates on the T-junction, Market Square, Village Square, in the city. The gates in the forest. The gates in the water. The gates in the still water. The gates in the stream. The gates in the river. The gates in the sea. They will walk in your favor. In Jesus' most powerful name, I have prayed. There's somebody looking at me. Whether I want to assure you, you will never go empty. You, the, the enemy has created a bag, a hole. Whatever you do, you don't get results. The gate of poverty, God has destroyed it in Jesus' name. Now, uh, give me Isaiah 60 verse 11. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Uh, Isaiah 60 verse 11. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Yes. <clears throat> you say, therefore, Yes. Thy gates shall be open continually. Ah, I love that. They shall not be shut uh -huh. day nor night. Wow. That men may bring unto thee uh -huh. the forces of the Gentiles. There is somebody there looking at me. Isaiah 60, verse 1. You say, oh Lord my God, your family gates, there are some family, their gates are closed. Please, I beseech you, make sure you get this prayer point and pray. It's free of charge. We, we don't serve. That Father, in the name of Jesus, there should be generational blessing. The gates that opened for my grandfather, opened for my father, opened for each and every of my siblings. So it is possible. The gate that opened for my grandfather, because my father said, my grandfather was popular, beloved by people. Opened for my father. My father, people be loved him. Of course, people like me. Some will hate you, of course. Balance, diet. If not, you, you will die on time. So the, 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 some people will like you. Few will hate you. It will be balance. But there are people that are better than I. There are people preaching this message than I do. Anything I say, anything I, I say happens. It's by his grace. It's not by my He's not by my. But why? Gate has been opened. There's a gate that is the gate of favor, the gate of anointing, the gate of peace, the gate of science and water. It is continually opened and for me and for you. 
in the at the university. If you know how I enter a university, you will be shocked. If you know how I got the best result in the in the in the in, the, in at the university at uni, you will be shocked. I wasn't the best. Professor Lati just liked me. A course I scored C no, he turned it to A. So I got five A's and two B's. Then I became a better scholar. Instead of Isa, Isa Muhammad is a big man now in Nigeria, quite big. He should have been the best because he had he had five A's, one B and one C. But this man from Ghana, Professor Lati, may God bless him. Swedish, he, he was he came from Sweden as a as a visiting professor. He gave his A. He said, How can I score C here? No, 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 no. He turned it to A. He said that you are very intelligent. Favor. What is my name? Favor. In the bank. Favor followed me. So what am I trying to tell you? There's somebody there. So look for men of God that God has opened doors for. So that you can carry the same. But if you meet those, the, the doors are closed. You will carry base. That's why you will be in the church. You were doing well before. But since you enter that church, your life changed. Opposite. Your life will change better. I can push Andrew left, right, and center. He can't do anything. His life changed. He began to be more fair. He was not as fair as this. The children are exceptionally doing well. Of course, the difference must be clear. So the gates, so, so that your gates shall be continually what? Be open. Yes. The last prayer point, is it the last? I hope the time I've been watched so that I know when I'm due to stop. And uh, there's this prayer point I'd like to give. Nahum 2. Nahum 2 6. Nahum. N A H U M. Nahum. In case I'm not pronouncing it well. Nahum 2 verse 6. Yes, I'm with you, sir. The gates of the rivers uh -huh. shall be opened. Uh -huh. Now, I link this. That I said this, how I turned it. Already because we are praying, let the gates of the river open. Because you have gates in the river. Ah. There are people that are locked in the river gates. No matter what they do, people will never see them. I'm not, I'm not preaching to you theology because I don't know it. I'm preaching what the Spirit of God ministers to me. There are those that have marine. They have tied them in the river. Their destiny. They can never come up. There are some homes that will never come up. There are some businesses that will never come up. There, there are pretty ladies and well-behaved, well-mannered, that will never marry you. There are men that are correct guy in every sense. Tall, good face, baby face, well-behaved, well-mannered. No preacher. There are people who have every qualification, no job. They have passed every professional exam. Evening one, morning one, afternoon one, all along the road one. Every professor, in fact, they have they have more qualification than the lecturer. It's not because you have qualification that you are employed. What can determine your success in life? Could be gates. I'm trying to round up now because that because so that the lines can open. So you say that I said, Oh Lord my God, my redeemer and savior, I like, please. That's how I, I I said, my redeemer, my savior. Any man or woman that has link with marine gates. Any man or woman that have link with marine gates, and they are fighting you. If you befriend people that have marine spirit, 
you are gone. I'm not telling you what I did not do. Under the, I'm speaking before I was born again. A young man, good job, Omojo, handsome, them, good car, flashy, them. My manager went, uh, then I was, um, I was, he, he traveled on Friday, he left, and I knew he would not come back. This story I'm telling you is private. Don't tell any person, except your friends, your family members, to learn something. And one, one of you know then, uh, in, in those days, one year ago, I just walked in and said, the manager, he wants, oh, I said, he has gone out. But I knew he would not come back because he told me. You know then, you are just, brr, 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 your brain is working, what, what, what to do? You are looking at me. Andrew, don't look at me as if you don't. Andrew has done more. So my brain began to do arithmetic. After a while, have you eaten? Are you hungry? Yo, yo, yes, sir. So, uh, of course, ah, uh, once uh, lunch have, has happened, your guess is as good as mine. It's all right, but five o'clock, I, I said, okay, um, so of course, because she came in and by five, I knew the man was not coming. So, cut a long story short. When at night, what I saw, when I began to swim from one ocean to another, <laughs> when I woke up from the first dream, I didn't close this eye so that I don't disappear. And the guy was telling me, everything okay. I said, everything's okay. When are you leaving? I'm telling you. So, you see, when you flex or you sleep around, the sin aspect is a sin, uh, but God can have mercy. For there are consequences that follows that you cannot repair. It can destroy your head. It can destroy your business. It can destroy your marriage. It can destroy your destiny. It can destroy you. In fact, I pray. Any man or woman that has marine link or connector that will want to destroy you, either by error or by force, God will not allow that. If you have been destroyed, I pray, let the, the God whom I serve, that delivered me that night, he will deliver you from the powers of marine spirit. He is both in men and in women. There are some men that will come into your life they will destroy forever. There are women that will come into your life or to finish forever. But it's not your portion, nor the portion of our children, nor the portion of all my viewers, nor the portion of members of Jesus' sanctuary. The blood of Jesus will, will ever speak. The name of Jesus will ever speak. In Jesus' name I pray. All right? God bless you and it is well. There is somebody there looking at me. Read Psalm 92. And claim five things there it will happen. I say it again. Read Psalm 92. And claim five verses of the scriptures there. It must come to pass. And so those of you that will join us tomorrow, it will be fantastic. In the morning hours, we have our morning section. That is for the fasting and prayer, of course. Ten to one. Then nine to 12, not 7 to 9, because of for the all night. Our normal services will resume as before, like Wednesday, next week, 10 to 12, we don't miss it, and we keep to time, to God be the glory. Alright, I don't know if the lines are there, alright, if the lines, I don't know, yeah, if the lines are ready, you can just call in and it is well, to God be the glory, and I thank God for each and every one of you, for all my viewers, those of you that have been praying for me, God shall keep you and, and prosper you as well. And uh, equally, thank those of you that have been sowing into this ministry, even though we don't announce it, but the Spirit of God that led you to do that will always make a way for you. Anytime you want to do something that is difficult, uh, like I said, one way is to make a vow to a good soil. Is it in your church? It will help you a lot. 
because it will open doors for you. Because what you sow is seed that you sow. So people every e emails now, all those that sow the seed into the ministry, they are being blessed. And God will bless them more. And I wish you the same. All right? There's a, a caller. Um, hello? Okay, probably she, uh, she has not gotten through yet. And uh, so to, Lord, to God be the glory. And uh, Metro on Sunday, it shall be fantastic. Sunday is going to be awesome. And we, there's somebody there. You have been trying to come, but something keeps holding you. The day you set your foot, whether I'm there or not, in that place, God will hear you. The day you, there's a caller already on the line. Hello? Hello? Hello, good evening, Pastor. Yeah, and who is calling, sir? Yeah, I'm Godwin. Godwin, yes, I'm with yes. you, sir. And where are you calling yes. from? Pastor, it's Godwin, please. Calling from? Think, Pastor, I want to pray for you, too, as you pray for others. Okay, God where are you calling you from? You. I'm so grateful. Oh. I'm calling from Germany. Okay. And I pray that the Almighty God, that Almighty God will bless you and Amen. prosper you. Amen. Pastor, I've been blessed from your ministry so much. And I pray that everything God says in your life must come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor, I saw you, um, you showed something like you were teaching us something in a class. You point Psalm 23 to us, but actually I don't understand what that Psalm 23 means in my dream. But the next day, I had a strange dream. I saw like a dog was chasing me after or from the street. Then towards my house, a woman was fighting with me in my dream, and she pointed hand in the side of my tummy. So I woke up. I was shouting Jesus, but I could not speak out much, please, sir. Yeah, but and you... I really don't understand the kind of wish is that. No, but Thank you. you have sent us an email. We'll send you some prayer points. But study Psalm 23. He said that the Lord is my shepherd as I not one. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. So the Lord is your shepherd. So make the Lord your shepherd. So the closer, you need to come closer to God. Because there is greatness that is before you. And that's why the enemy will fight it. They don't fight failures. Nobody fights, nobody fights a madman. Nobody fights a failure. Somebody... You don't throw uh, uh, a stone uh, on an empty tree. When we were young, we only use stone to or stick to throw a tree with fruit because you have something to gain. So it is well. That study that Psalm 90, I mean Psalm 23. But above all, be closer to God. Make him to be your Lord. Go deeper in him, you will benefit. But the powers of darkness, Exodus 22, 18, dog in the dream, seven spies, as it were, witchcraft. That is as simple as it is. And the Bible says, suffer a witch not to live. It means that you pray that the power of witchcraft has failed in your life. May God prosper you, sir, in Jesus' name. All right? The next caller, um, the, okay? Please, as you try to call in your name and where you are calling from, it will be fantastic. I'm with you. All right? Just call in and say, hello, then I will know you are up. Now, uh, there's somebody there. I ask people to read Psalm 92 and claim five things there. You will know I serve a living God. <laughs> hello? Yes. Uh, how are you, ma? Who is calling? Hello? I can hear you, ma. Hello? Hello? Okay, I probably have missed that caller. And please, once you call in, you are true and you just you speak your, your, your name and where you are calling from. All right? There is another caller. Hello? Reduce the volume of your TV set to the next caller. Hello? If your volume of your TV set is on, you cut them off. Any person that calls and the volume of the TV set is on, you cut off the person. There are so many people waiting. All right? And we can't be saying one thing at a time, one thing at a time. 
Once you call, you will be due to follow up your teaching set. Make it zero. You can't be speaking and be hearing yourself. You will have echo. You won't hear you. We cannot hear us. And you are wasting everybody's time. So the people at the technical department, once they call in and the person is on and the volume of set is on, you call the person up. So I'm sorry about that, but it's good to just be simple uh, instructions and uh, it is well. I have patience a, a lot. That's why I'm saying that. All right? Good. Now, there's somebody looking at me. If you see your, you saw yourself naked, it's a serious dream. You need to, at least, nakedness talks of exposure, talks of disgrace, talk of sickness. Yes, there's a caller. Hello? 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 Hello, sir. All right. All right. Okay, it is well. It's well. Try and call in. I'm sure we are. Just try and call in. And, uh, Hello? Yes. Hello, ma'am. Who is calling? Hello? I can hear you clearly. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. So uh, you, she cannot hear us. And uh, so probably, and that's why she's saying hello. All right, so it's probably, I'm sorry, I probably, it's not your fault, ma. But if I were you, just speak on, even if, because I can hear you clearly. So just speak on, or just say something, and that's it. All right, so that is that for that. All right, uh, but it's good to use Psalm 92. There's somebody there looking at me, Psalm 92. I won't allow this telephone to hinder what I have for somebody there. Psalm 92. I ask you to claim five things there. Five things you want, five. And it must happen. Yes, there is a, a caller. Hello? Hello, Pastor. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? God bless you, Pastor. God bless you and your family. Amen. God Amen. bless you. I'm benefiting from your teaching, from your ministry. I attended your, your crusade. Yes, sir. Every time and I've come to Old Kent to for your church. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God used you to give me my paper. Amen. God bless you. But I still have some problem in my family that I used to pray for. Amen. And my family, I want you to pray for me and my family, please. Yes. Yeah, last night, mm -hmm. I used the blood you blessed, and I used it. And I, I find myself at home. And when I get home, I was trying to enter to my 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 uncle's compound. Yes. There are three dogs come out, mm. two black and one brown one. Mm. So they after me. I don't know what comes to me. Then I kick. There were anyone I kick, and that was cut down. Anyone I kick, and it start triple. So I, I find myself in that. So I was praying, praying, praying. I come out. I say, ah, this is a very big attack because I'm planning to go home. Aha. So, so I'm planning to go home before. Yeah. yeah. This I, I had this dream last week. Yeah. But, but since then, I'm, I'm, I've been using that blood you bless for me. Good. And to my children, yes. please, I have a big. I will come. I will come to. I will come to your your office to tell you because I don't want to say it now. Oh yeah, it's all right. But if you want to actually see me, you come for service. After service, you can see me. That's the only way you can see me. Number one, I want to thank God for your land. Thank God for your paper. God has proved himself to you. And from your dream, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad deed. At least you can pray. But what you can do, ask us some prayer points. So you begin to pray now. So when we come, when we see, we will talk. But or when you come in, remind me of this, that I can give you some prayer points. Concern about the powers of darkness. Concern of those after your 
destiny and giving you a prayer for saying fight for your children is going to help you a lot. Thank you so much. Sir. Even though I didn't know your name, but the Lord is our strength, sir. And to him be all the glory in Jesus' name. All right, there's another caller. And uh, who is calling, sir? Who is calling, ma? Hello? Hello? Hello, ma. I'm with you. Okay. My name is Georgia. Yes, Georgia, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Pastor, good evening. Yeah. I had uh, the dream. While I was asleep, there was this, like, a black lizard. I can't actually call it lizard because it has got four limbs. And then uh, this thing was now running around me. So I said, shoot, I was chasing it away. Eventually, it now crossed over my body, but then it was a black animal. So I just said, blood of Jesus, then I got up and prayed. I don't know what uh, what is that for. It is not a good dream, of course, like you know, and you have done the right thing to pray. But I will advise you to pray more, but use any power. That is what I'm... Yeah, any power of the... I, I can't Sorry. hear, Pastor. You, okay, are you hearing me now? Do you hear me now? Oh, okay. Uh, are you hearing me, ma? Oh, my dear. Can you say again? Is that, okay. okay. But, Let me put on the TV then. Okay, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. you, so you cannot hear me. You, I can hear you now. Yeah, you bind the every power of the crippling thing. A okay. lizard is a crippling thing. So use the okay. name of Jesus Christ to bind anything they have done. Using okay. the, yeah, anything crippling thing to hinder okay. you, to hinder your head, to, to hinder how far you will go. You okay. use the blood of Jesus Christ just as you have done. Okay. You let the blood of Jesus fight for you. Okay. But you are but if you send us some prayer point, I mean if you send us email, we'll send you some prayer point. If okay. you are around you London, that. anytime that you are around, somebody can help you at the second turret with the prayer point if you demand. Okay. It will help uh -huh. you a lot. But if you okay. not, you have done the right thing. All right. All right. So you have today, and I'm sure, and it is well. There's another caller. Okay. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, ma. All right. Hello. Yes, I'm with you, ma. Okay. Um. Good evening, sir. Yes, my sister. Sir, I had a dream last night. I saw um about ten monkeys, ten white monkeys attacking me. Ah. Which church do you go to? I'm uh, an Anglican. Uh huh. If you are in London, are you speaking from where? I'm from London, sir. Uh -huh. Speaking from London. Yes. If you left, if you come to London to go to Anglican, if it's in Nigeria, you have a park, you have the charismatic in Catholic or so. It means you don't have any power. How can they attack you? So, boy, send us some prayer points and we'll give you, I mean, so email, we'll give you some prayer points. Some of you come here and decide to go where they serve you tea. Sir, I have another dream. Yes. Um, I was in a stream fetching water. Yes. But when I went there, I was seeing only fizzes. Ha! Ah. <laughs> My sister. Uh, it's not to discourage you, my dear. It's good that you are saying it. They said if you hide sickness, sickness will hide you. So what I will advise you to do is that uh, if you are in London, try and visit so that we'll give you some prayer points. But you need serious deliverance. So that because sickness is same. That is every effort you are making. Even when people will go and be blessed, your own will turn to something else. Uh, uh, but it is well. We thank God that gave you this opportunity. And I hope by the email, uh, if you send us an email, we can give you some prayer points. But let me pray for you. Are you just. And the another one is that ah. I saw someone losing my hair in the dream. But when I kind of started fighting with the person, I used scissors and shaved the person's hair. Oh, that is victory for you. It means that, oh, that is fantastic. Good news. 
At least it's not all bad, bad, bad. So um, thank God for you. Thank God for your life. Thank God for the, your victory. In fact, because of time, I use it as a point of contact to all my viewers. Every bad dream, every negative dream, I cancel them. They will never see the light of the day. God will keep you. He will, he will keep all my viewers. Keep your children. Keep your husband. Somebody read Psalm 92. And I said, claim five things. There. It will come to pass. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm rounding up tomorrow. And that's it. Be part of the all night. My sister that called. I don't know where you are calling from. If you are around London. If you are anywhere, you are trying to be in that service. It will help you. Because those revelation but we thank god that you can even remember your dreams some don't even know whether they dream or not but may the lord keep you jesus is the key he delivered me he will deliver you try him this year and you will notice the difference and invite him into your life simple prayer and you will know and at time bible believing church so that it will help you may god prosper you see you by Saturday, by tomorrow and Saturday, by His grace, God bless you and bye bye. Lord, let my heart be still. Hello, God's people. This is a book that has just been published by Pastor Uzo, and it is called Dreams, Visions, and Their Interpretation. Dreams, dreams, dreams. How many times have you had dreams that disturbed you? How many times have people told you about dreams that you were lost? You could not find a meaning. But yet, this is a book for our times, an encyclopedia of dreams that contained the different types of dreams, their meaning, and more importantly, the objects that you see. This is a book that you must have, a book for every family. You might want to bless a family member or friend, people that may have come to you in the past. Now you have a solution. Now you have what? A book to tell them. Because this is a book that you must have all the days of your life. Remember, an encyclopedia is a book of reference. This is a book about dreams and a book that you could always go to now and again, again and again. God bless you as you richly buy this book in Jesus' name. Your guidance I need, please. I'm asking Ask you, you to fulfill. Father, I know I'll fail until I'm in the center of your perfect will. and contemplate in my mind all the friends and Thank you for watching the broadcast of Jesus Sanctuary. Address 25 to 27 Ruby Street, off Old Kent Road, behind KFC, London, SE 15, 1LR. Services, Sunday services, morning service 9am to 11.30am, afternoon service 12pm to 2.30pm. Bible study, Tuesday 6.30pm to 8.30pm. Healing and deliverance service, Wednesdays 10am to 12pm. Counseling after Wednesday and Sunday services. Impartation night, first Friday of every month. Passover night, last Friday of every month. Telephone 020 7277 5664. 020 7277 5664. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Be sure to join us next time, same time on this channel.